to do his makeup. Here, this is interesting, isn't it? <clears throat> what? Women will colonize Venus. Has nobody read the front page of the Times newspaper today? Women will colonize Venus. Men will never get to Mars. And that is scientists saying that yesterday. The logical conclusion of research shows that frozen sperm can survive the weightlessness of space. Uh, they argued that the study, which involved repeatedly exposing semen to zero gravity and then checking for signs of degradation, showed there was no need to waste rocket fuel on men when colonising uh, the cosmos. Instead, humanity's future, it seems, is an interplanetary uh, meritocracy. Yeah, but, I mean, you'll get men born. Yeah, but they won't be going there. Well, is that what this song was about? It was almost a premonition <laughs> of what, what was happening. To but isn't that... I, I mean... So they're it, taking <clears throat> sperm to Venus, is what you're saying, women. They will, will they probably... Yeah, they, women will probably be the pilots and the, the, the space women. And they'll take the weightless sperm. Yeah, to, and then they will... Call, and then men will be born out of that, obviously. Well, what will they do with them? Because they won't really need men. Well, they will need men to make more women. No, they just need the sperm. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. They'll so take they the sperm. The, but, the, but what will they do with the male babies? Well, they'll probably eat them. Well, exactly. I mean, do you know Wonder Woman? Do you remember the, the show Wonder Woman? That's what they do to male everything, isn't it? They eat them. Yeah. We had goats, you know, the male ones, and all ones who they just eat them. Really? Yeah. They don't, what, you know? They eat my male goats? Well, no, I mean, you know, if you have lots of male goats or male sheep, they oh, always go to slaughter, don't like, they? Like with cows. Yeah. I mean, look at the poor cows. The male ones, they get rid of most of them. Well, they're not cows, Vigil. are they? They're, uh, well, no, they're bull bullocks. Bull bullocks. 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 Mm. Bullocks. Yeah. What is a baby bull called? <coughs> a bullock. Is it a bullock? <laughs> well, no, isn't a bullock a fully grown... Uh, some sort of, a bull and a bullock are different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Different. No, uh, Phyllis said Steve. That's what a baby male bull is called. Well, that's why it is what it's called. <laughs> but no... This is what's going to happen. To colonise some of these planets, we will be sending <coughs> women crews with loads of sperm. With canisters of sperm. Yeah, and they will go and presumably the sperm will be brought on in, um, in, in, uh, in what's it, wombs. False wombs. Well, yeah, you know. Um, uh, imitation wombs. Yeah. <coughs> like incubators. Well, they could ins inseminate, inseminate, impregnate... Yeah. Well, it's the same yeah, thing. the women. It's the same thing. Yeah. With the turkey baster. <laughs> but I think... But I think... Um, well, we must get some calls in the last Well, bit. no, this is yeah. interesting. What? So what? the women drive to Venus with these big containers of... Drive, of weightless fly. sperm. Yeah. And then they they take the sperm... The, si the whole point of this story, front page of the Times today, give our friends at the Times a plug, yeah. is that you don't need men to go to Venus, Mars or anywhere else. So you yeah. take the sperm and then grow the beings on. We don't need now, that here anyway, do we? What do you mean you don't need them well, here? Well, they don't need it on Earth either. What do you mean you we don't, don't need, need men on Earth? We could have, uh, you know, weightless sperm. Well, eventually sperm. they're probably... <laughs> What are you talking about? Well, they've proven that you can you have need, weightless sperm, yeah, haven't but they? You can't it? have everybody having the same father, can you? So you have to well, mix... There have to be a number of males around. What's his name? But if in the future we get rid of war, although women can be quite warlike, that men are really superfluous to needs, which is yeah. why, of course, men always try and pretend that they are more important. It's probably very good that we're all adopting women's names. Before long, we'll be shaving and, you know because men will be not needed. And if you think about it, you only need one man to keep things going and There's ticking millions, over. millions of it, isn't there? What? It, one, sp one sperm thing yeah. contains millions of sperms. Yeah, but one woman is not going to have millions, so you will have well, to Genghis have... Well, Genghis Khan, apparently, one out of three Chinese people are, are is their great-great-granddad. Really? He must yeah. have been busy. Yeah. Well, he was, oh. wasn't he? And but they will have artificial wombs set up Right, you can see it now in big chambers where there will be breeding human beings on these planets. Pods. Pods. Won't the women yeah. just do it themselves? No, because that, they that's wouldn't... easier, isn't it? <laughs> With a turkey baster? Yeah. No, no. So we simply can do that now. No, 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 no. No. 
This is how it's going to go. And this will, this will happen here as well. So that in the... I'm just like saying. they'll be in gi giant amniotic sacs. Yeah, exactly. But there won't be as many... I mean, and the sort of, you know, the, the one man, one woman family bringing up children will be a thing oh, of the yeah, past. There'll be nothing like that. So there won't, this is... I mean, if we came back in about four or five hundred years' time... It might be a horrible place to live. It'll all be very sort of scientific and... Well, no, you know. do you, like, what, like I was saying, would you remember Wonder Woman? It was all women that lived on, a, on an island, and yeah. it was basically that. It seemed a very nice island, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But they must have had one or two men just kept for... Yeah, well, they were locked up, weren't they? And just, it's all for pleasure. Just milked. Really? Yeah. Oh, Disgusting. I, I didn't see that bit on Wonder Woman. Didn't you? No. It was <laughs> you about, made that up. No, it was about halfway through the third no, series. No, you made that, that, that up. That was... But there will have to be men, because men produce the sperm, and unless a woman is developed that produces both sperm well, will you be able to, I mean, you might be able to recreate hmm. sperm. Really? How? By, I suppose, artificial testicles. <laughs> no, but that's... Only... Um, sorry, this is ridiculous. Can we... Uh, this is because Brexit is doing this to my head. I mean, this is what's happening. We're Brexit mad, and it's, it's been the spaces out, so we're talking about rubbish. Yeah. Uh, so, can we get... we got very little time, but we've got a couple of minutes. Can we get some calls on who've never phoned before? Anybody wants to talk about going to Mars? Anybody wants to talk about procreation? Uh, any of these... Sperms in space? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what the Times has proven, that it's all right. It doesn't do anything yeah. bad to it. Uh, here's the number to call us on. 0344-499-1000. 0344-499-1000. Call me now. First couple of people get on. We'll try and get you on right before the end of the show. Ring now. Ring now. I just thought of a good money spin. If we get what? one of these 09 numbers, 0906, and then we just give that out on air as the phone <laughs> number. <laughs> Connect it to your phone. We'll just put it on speakerphone and we'll do our calls through there. And then we get all Producer the money. Producer says I've got to stop you talking. Yeah, we get all the money. Did that hurt? No. Oh. Ah! <laughs> now stop when well, you're told. Idea, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, get, let's get some calls in. Come on, just before we finish. Yeah. Anybody. In fact, we've anyone, doesn't matter whether you call before or not, I'm, yeah, I'm easy don't tonight. I don't care. Uh, right, I'm just going to wait here for someone to call. 0344-499-1000. But men will become, a th not a thing of the buzz, but they won't They'll be... They'll be watched on <clears throat> videos and stuff. People yeah, still but they'll need you. men, you know. Why? But one, well, just to sort of keep, keep, you know, <laughs> renewing the uh, thing. No, but I told you how we can do that. Mm. Oh, look, Gopal Sharma's going, you should have phoned in, Gopal. Stop sending me tweets. I've got to move over to the other side of the... Uh, uh, what happens to family-based society? Decline of mankind if this model is repeated uh, on Earth. Biosimilar digital twins can produce sperm. What are biosimilar digital twins? I suppose the same thing. But then they'll have the same taste. Mm. So you know, factories that make furniture and mm. food will all just to be able to make the same thing. Blackhawk says, going by your analysis, if it's an artificial womb, it will be men in space. What's mm. the use of women? It's a good point. If we no. can... Yes. <clears throat> if we can How's make an artificial point? womb, then the men can fly in the capsules yeah. to Mars with all their wombs and just provide their own sperm to put in. It's actually... Uh, actually, makes that's more not sense. a bad idea, is it? Makes more sense. That's why I just say men are from uh, Mars, women from Venus. Now yeah, it but makes they sense. don't... The, the, apparently, women are fitter in uh, weightlessness as well. Uh, oh, right. is, well, yeah, uh, science fiction writers and even... Uh, NASA itself have long mooted the idea of taking women-only crews on extended space missions. In 2017, Helen Sharman, the first British astronaut, said that NASA had gone so far as to produce a paper arguing that single-sex crews were best for cohesion mm -hmm. and that women yeah. were preferable because they were more likely to cooperate. But it had sense. nothing to do with sperm. That would make sense. But, you know, when, when they get there, they have all this sperm, which is deep frozen, and then they can do what they like. They deep can have artificial it. ones, or they can, you know... And yeah. then they can collar... See, the thing is, if, if you've got all this sperm, <clears throat> how many do you get in a... How many people will be in a space capsule? What, half a dozen, dozen? I mean, it might be a pretty big one, I suppose, all women. But you've got to make sure that they're not related to any of the sperm. 
The sperms. Yeah. How do you do that? Well, we're all related some way or another, aren't we? Oh, I don't know. Are we? Uh, yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. We all came from two people. Oh, stop it. We you do. don't believe that twaddle. Don't go on about religious stupid no, things but we like did. that. I mean, that was it. There I was know. no such thing as Adam and No, but Eve. even scientifically, we come from one... No, we... Well... Uh, one sort of Homo erectus. We do homo not erectus. come from oh, Homo We came erectus. out of a Homo erectus. Oh, okay. What? That's... <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's well, how we... can have babies now. Yeah. They can have babies. Look, well, we're yeah. just talking about this thing, front page of the Times, because I'm getting fed up with Brexit. That fed it'll be Brexit, women you know, that go... Patriot. Women will go into space. They won't take men. They will take frozen sperm. Delicious. <laughs> and and then when Ash reckons it'll be a turkey based, I reckon it'll be artificial wombs. They'll yeah. set up yeah. on Venus. A, a pea and shooter. And, art, uh, and artificial testicles. Why Big ones. To produce more sperm. Yeah. Industrial sized didn't they, didn't testicles. They make, didn't someone make sperm? This isn't even a joke. Didn't they make sperm in a laboratory? Yeah. Like proper. I'm sure I read this like a couple yeah. of years ago. They Who made. said that? Yeah, they've they? made, made functioning a, sperm. A good quality how sperm. can you hang on, hang on? How can you make function? What is sperm first of Sorry? all? Sorry, like small. You don't know what it is. Flip it. Mean, not... We haven't got time, mate. <laughs> he probably has just got enough time. There's two minutes. So. No, I mean, what's in it, and how would you make it? Tiny little fishies. Do you, like, not, you, know know how, do you not know how to make it? <laughs> it's like yeah, tadpoles, isn't it? Little tadpoles, little little Tiny tadpoles. If you look really carefully, you'll see. <laughs> yeah. It's not just flour and water mixed up. What's you, there's no um, soundproofing in it. It looks there, like that, no, and you can <laughs> use it for that. I'm not here tomorrow, I'll see you Wednesday. Yeah, you probably got to be a back Wednesday it, after this yeah, filth. Yeah, yeah, Ian, and what you heard in the background then was cackling cats. Yes, filthy. filthy see you later. Lad. She knows what semen is. There is only one real conversation in town Boris and Boris and Boris and Boris and Boris and Boris and Boris. Our politicians, they are like arguing school children in a playground. Very good. Thank you. Margaret Thatcher was here. This would never have developed. She's not coming back, man. I know. Hello, Paul. You're on the air. Good evening, James. Good, good evening, evening. Good, good evening, Paul. I had an endowment on a mortgage and I sold the house. Was it a big, you know, well, you know, well, well endowed. Well endowed endowment. Yeah. Margaret Thatcher was probably the best... You can't bring her back. Don't you start. I oh, know, you tell him. He, he, he won't, won't get through his skull. <laughs> love, for your love. love. You stupid over... Well, there's no need to be insulted. You're avoiding the question. Have you ran back to the Remainers? I'm going to say this. It's a simple answer. Yes, are you a Brexiter or are you a Remainer? Your eyes are getting really big and starey and you're sweating profusely. Because I get excited when we talk about horses. And I'm frightened when you look like that. Well, you should be. This is Talk Radio. No! Time is running out for the PPI, which means time is running out for me. me, 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 me. I'm gonna need your clothes, your boots, and your unicycles. For pasta la pizza, maybe. You've got to act now before it's too late. Okay. Remember, the PPI deadline is pressing. If you haven't complained to your provider by the 29th of August 2019, you won't be able to claim money back for PPI. Search FCA, PPI, or call the Financial Conduct Authority on 0800 101 8800. Come on, do it now! Cl